President Trump and the First Lady are quarantining in the White House this morning. CBS 2's Natalie Brand joins us live from Washington with the latest. Good morning, Natalie. Good morning. Good morning, Suzanne and DeMarco. And new this morning, we've learned from the vice president's spokesman that both the vice president and second lady have tested negative for the coronavirus following this breaking news overnight. We've also learned from a senior administration official that the president is said to be in good spirits. But this developing situation is sending shockwaves around the country and around the world. In a tweet just before 1 a.m. Eastern Time, President Trump announced both he and First Lady Melania Trump have tested positive for COVID-19. The president wrote, we will begin our quarantine and recovery process immediately. We will get through this together. So uh, I just went for a test and we'll see what happens. I mean, who knows? This stunning development came hours after President Trump confirmed to Fox News that one of his closest aides, Hope Hicks, had tested positive for the coronavirus. She tested positive. And I just went out with a test. I'll see what, you know, because we spent a lot of time and the first lady just went out with a test also. So whether we quarantine or whether we have it, I, I don't know. White House physician Sean Conley released a statement saying the president and first lady were both doing well, adding, quote, rest assured, I expect the president to continue carrying out his duties without disruption while recovering. The White House has canceled all of the president's public events for today. He has kept on his schedule a phone call on COVID-19 support for vulnerable seniors. Hicks had traveled to several events with President Trump this week, including the debate on Tuesday and to his rally in Minnesota on Wednesday. President Trump attended a fundraiser in New Jersey on Thursday, reportedly spending time in close contact with a number of his supporters. And the White House says contact tracing has been done, but it's unclear at this point how many people that includes from the donors that the president potentially interacted with to White House officials and staffers. Again, the new news this morning is that the vice president has tested negative. We also learned from a senior aide that White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows has tested negative at this point. Now, a short time ago, Democratic nominee Joe Biden tweeted about this saying Jill and I send our thoughts to President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump for a swift recovery. A source familiar also tells CBS News that Biden is now expected to get a COVID test this morning. As you remember, that presidential debate, the first one was just a few days ago. Suzanne and DeMarco. Hmm. Natalie, how will this affect the campaign? That's a huge question because the October campaign schedule had been jam-packed with events. The president had planned to travel to central Florida today, a key battleground state. Then he was headed to another battleground state over the weekend, Wisconsin, and then west to Arizona. But for now, all of those campaign events on hold. It's unclear how long the president will have to stay in isolation. And then the other thing we're watching, what happens with the debate schedule? The vice presidential debate is scheduled for next week. It's unclear whether the vice president will have to take any new precautions in light of this. We're also trying to learn more about Senator Harris's reaction. And then the next presidential debate is scheduled 13 days from now. Very much unclear, up in the air, what happens with all of this. Natalie Brand, live in Washington. Natalie, thank you. And ahead in our next half hour, we are talking live with an ER doctor about what the Trumps can expect now that they have been infected. Stay with CBS 2 News for the latest.